people are taking to the streets of downtown LA for the 35th year of the AIDS walk in Los Angeles. Let's go. This is such an important walk. 10,000 people gathering in the streets all to raise money for APLA health and AIDS related charities. Since 1985, the annual event has raised $88 million for nonprofit organizations like APLA Health. We operate 16 centers across Los Angeles County, provide over 20 services, basically everything somebody at risk for HIV or living with HIV would need to live a happy, healthy life. The Southland knows how to show its support for the 60,000 people living with HIV or AIDS in LA County. And our AIDS Walk um, Los Angeles team has grown every single year. We have all these eyewitness news viewers that join us. And it means a lot to people because everyone knows someone who's been affected by HIV. I lost my first cousin and his partner in the early 90s. And so I'm doing this so that people don't lose their loved loved ones anymore. It hasn't been wiped out. We're just trying to get everybody to feel normal, to get rid of the stigma. We have the tools and the science right now to end this epidemic. We can stop it. But because of stigma and because of the shame and the fear and the misinformation that's out there, people don't go and get tested and they don't go into treatment. They don't talk about it. So the virus keeps spreading. This event's 35 years old. It's changed. It used to be about remembering the people we've lost. And it was a very sort of solemn march. Now it's very exuberant and happy because we're talking about ending the epidemic in our lifetime. The more we can talk about it and, uh, and say the letters HIV out loud, the better. And what better way to do it than AIDS Walk LA? Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.